The recent calm over the Black Sea grain deal appears to be broken after three EU countries said they would impose their own restrictions on Ukrainian grain imports. Poland, Slovakia and Hungary threatened they are ready to unilaterally reintroduce bans on Ukrainian grain imports after the current ban negotiated by the EU expired on Friday. The European Union says the bloc's countries should refrain from such one-sided measures. So what's important right now is that uh, uh, all uh, countries uh, work in a uh, spirit of uh, compromise, uh, uh, engage constructively and uh, that we are uh, finding this uh, uh, solution and uh, uh, clearly uh, the best of course would be that member states would refrain from unilateral uh, measures. Uh, uh, and uh, 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 work uh, along, uh, um, uh, 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 along uh, the lines of uh, uh, this agreement. The European Commission has lifted the temporary bans on Ukrainian grain after Kiev agreed to tighten control over its agricultural exports, a move welcomed by the Ukrainian president. Restrictive measures against our agricultural exports from the European Union have been lifted. It is important now for European unity to work at the bilateral level as well, so that neighbors support Ukraine during the war. Europe always wins when agreements work and promises are kept. And if the decisions of our neighbors are not neighborly, Ukraine will respond in a civilized manner. So much has been said over the Black Sea grain deal, especially after Russia suspended the agreement in July. Moscow says the reason of the suspension is that parts of its demands have not been implemented so far. Since then, efforts to revive the grain deal have intensified. But now, chances to renew the grain deal between Russia and Ukraine are realistically very slim. Russia earlier stressed that it was not willing to rejoin the Black Sea grain deal unless its demands are met.